Hi, it's me, Nellie. <clears throat> I wanted to talk about how OCD has affected me personally in my life. And I can't say that this happens to everybody because we all have different symptoms, we all have different intrusive thoughts, we all have different um, belief systems and religions or um, lack thereof if we choose. Um, but OCD is uh, not discriminatory and it doesn't care what color you are, how old you are, what sex you are, what um, sexual preference you have. Um, it, it doesn't care what class you are, how much money you have, uh, what you look like, what your home life is like. It doesn't care about any of that. Um, and so there are a great many of us that suffer with it and some of us are more vocal about it than others. And um, it's just really hard um, to go through. And a lot of people suffer in silence because of it. Um, I grew up in a time when there was no help for it. Um, I was showing my first symptoms at the age of four. And my mother took me to the doctor and they said they thought it was OCD, but there was no treatments for children at that time and that um, they thought it would go away. And um, that really didn't work too well. Um, and then I had a small period between the age of 10 and 14 where I've probably still had it, but it wasn't interfering with my daily life. And then when I hit 14, it came back and I uh, knew something wasn't right and I thought I had gone completely insane and it was terrifying because OCD people realize that what goes on in their head is not what normal people have going on in their head and it's uh, scary and um, it's devastating because I started to think that I was unlovable that I was too broken, that no one would ever accept me or care for me or be in my life because I was complicated and I had issues and um, I felt broken. And um, that was really difficult to process because when you think about your life, you don't think about um, being different and um, repetitive <laughs> and um, terrified of everything, uh, which is what OCD is. It's um, anxiety disorder. And in my experience, it makes you afraid of anything and everything. So um, it's been a long road to accept that this is me and this is who I am. And um, this is my issue and it will be my issue for the rest of my life and that I have to make some kind of peace with it and through that I have realized that um, I'm a good person even though I have horrible intrusive thoughts and I'm an intelligent person even though I was unable to finish school because of it and I am lovable even though I'm not perfect and that OCD is in my life but that doesn't mean that I'm any less than anyone else and um, that took years for me so I hope uh, those of you watching it doesn't take 32 years to get that in your head but that is how it was for me so the last few years I've come to understand that um, there are so many of us that have this and it has varying degrees. There's severe like me and then there's people that have it so small that it doesn't affect their daily lives. And then there's like the middle people 
that it affects them sometimes, but not with everything they do. And um, we're all good people. And we're all worthy people. We are all lovable people. And I think that's, um, that was the hardest thing for me. It was not just the stigma. It was the blaming myself for being broken and the feeling guilty of the intrusive thoughts and the putting on myself that I somehow was responsible or could change my OCD, which was kind of kind of stupid when you think about it because um, no one asks to have a mental illness and no one asks to have OCD and no one can help when they get it. So why I chose to do that to myself for years, I will never know. But um, I think if I could offer one cent of advice, it would be to believe in yourself and accept yourself wholly and accept yourself with OCD because it doesn't change who you are deep down and it doesn't make you less than and you can love yourself even when you're not perfect and live your life the best of your ability so my advice. You can take it or leave it or, you know, like it. Who knows?